This video will give you a brief overview of the MSR Shock Viewer's user interface. As we have seen in the previous video, a shock report is displayed as soon as a data file is opened. This screen is called the Report View, and as we can see in the View group of the Commands bar, there are two other views available in the Shock View and the Sensors View. Since we already know the Report View, let's switch to the Shock View by clicking on its icon. The Shock View is the core of the MSR Shock Viewer. It provides you with the tools required to analyse the shock events in detail. We will learn how to work with these tools in a separate video, dedicated to the Shock View. The topmost of the three charts you see on the screen, called Shock Events, displays the shocks that occurred during the measurement period. Each blue dot represents a shock event and yellow dots represent multiple events. Click on one of the dots to select the event. The chart in the middle of the screen is called Selected Shock Events and it shows the measured curves of the selected event. You may display a table representation of this event's measuring by clicking on the table icon of the shock group in the command bar. The events icon allows you to hide the shock events chart. The bottommost chart is the overview chart. It's a great tool to navigate with ease through all the data. It shows all measured curves by default and lets you select the time span to be displayed in the shock events chart by dragging the white block within the two date marks or by dragging the marks directly. The overview panel not only contains the overview chart, but also a list of all shock events with other sensors data that is accessible via a tab. You may use the two arrow icons of the command bar to jump forward and backward on the overview's timeline. On the right side of each of the three charts, you will find tools to configure the content and navigate through the data. These tools will be discussed more thoroughly in the other videos. For now, let's go back to the View group of the command bar and click on the Sensors icon to open the third view, the Sensors view. If your data logger is equipped with other sensors, like temperature or humidity for example, their measurements can be found here. The area reserved for the measured curves, called Sensors, is empty by default. Click on one of the four axes to assign it a sensor and continue like this with the other axis to populate your chart. You may again use the navigator in the lower part of the window to navigate through the measurement period and select the time span to be displayed. Now that you have learned about the main elements on the screen, let's see how to customise the MSR Shock Viewer for your needs. If you need more space for the charts, you may hide the command bar by clicking on the small arrow on the right hand side of it. A click on the Home tab will bring it back, but it will hide again as soon as you click on an item. To bring it back to its fixed position, click on the small arrow that is accessible when the toolbar is opened. The same options are available via the Ribbon Configuration menu you find on the upper right side of the window. Show Tabs and Commands is the default behaviour with a fixed command bar, while Show Tabs corresponds to the hiding behaviour we just learned about. If you want to hide the command bar, including the tabs, choose the option Auto Hide Ribbon. Note that the word Ribbon refers to the band where the tabs are located. You will find even more flexibility with the Overview panel. You may grab it and drag it to any position of your screen, even outside of the program window. If you prefer to pin it to a side, grab it and drag it over one of the corresponding positioning symbols that appear. 
Click on the Save icon of the Command Bar's Layout group to save the position of the Navigator window. You may click the Default icon at any time to restore the default window configuration. By clicking the Load icon, you may reload the last saved configuration. Thank you for watching this video. Check out our other videos to learn more about the MSR Shock Viewers features.